With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. So the question is a pendulum clock has an iron pendulum having length 1 meter long. Alpha is given as alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion of iron. It is 10 the power 5. 10 the power minus 5 per degree centigrade if the temperature rises by 10 degree centigrade then the clock and there are some options and we have to tell that either the clock will lose the time or gain the time okay now we know that suppose this is the pendulum which is having length l and l is given as this is the pendulum which is rotated like this and the length of this pendulum suppose l Time period of pendulum is given by 2 pi under root L upon G. G is the acceleration due to gravity. Now, when we increase the temperature, when temperature is increased at that time, linear expansion takes place. Okay. Linear expansion takes place and because of linear expansion, the length of this rod will be changed. Suppose the, uh, the length after the increase of temperature, now the length is this much increase okay now the new length is this this is the l length and now delta l is the change in the length this is the change in delta l after increasing the temperature linear expansion takes place and length of the uh, pendulum is increased now the new time period that is t dash is written as 2 pi change in length that that is l plus delta l delta l is the change in length upon g suppose this is my equation one and this is my equation second okay now we know that equation of linear expansion is written by l final that is a change in length l final is given as l one plus alpha delta t uh, we will take theta as temperature because t is for time period l final is the l original length l is the original length one plus alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion delta theta so I will put this value in the formula. So T dash is finally 2 pi under root L 1 plus alpha delta theta. Delta theta is the change in temperature upon G. Okay. Now from the, suppose this is my equation third. Now I am going to separate equation third from 1. So I will write T dash minus T that is equals to 2 pi under root L upon G is common. So I will write 2 pi under root L upon G outside and inside it is 1 plus alpha T power half minus 1. Simple. Now I am going to solve this equation by using the binomial theorem. When power, when the equation in look like this 1 plus X N when X is less less than N. At that time, I will write this as 1 plus n x. This is the binomial theorem and I am going to use this theorem to solve this. Okay. So, I will write t dash minus t that is equals to 2 pi under root l upon g and I will write 1 plus half alpha delta t minus 1. Now, 1 1 cancel out. So, I can write this as t dash minus t now this whole value 2 pi under root l upon g is t so i can write t and in bracket it is half alpha delta theta it is delta theta okay change in temperature delta theta okay now we have to find out the change in time so i will write delta t upon t okay so from here i will calculate this as this is t dash minus t this is basically delta t change in time period delta t upon t that is equals to half alpha delta theta now putting the values we will have values as half alpha is given as 10 the power minus 5 into delta theta is given as 10 degree centigrade now this value is for per second this change in time period is basically for per second and we have to calculate this for one day so for one day i will calculate this into in seconds in one day seconds are 60 into 60 that is 2600 and 24 hours i will change 24 hours into the second now after calculating this we will have the final value of change in time period that is coming out to be 4.32 second 
now length is increased after uh, increase the temperature length is increased that means time period is increased and when the time period is increased that means clock loses the time because pendulum is start moving fastly and when pendulum is start moving fastly that means clock loses the time okay so clock loses the time by 4.32 seconds so just check the option the second option which is will lose 4.32 seconds per day is the correct option okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today